Hello everyone and welcome to another video of weekly shop my stash. I know it took me a little bit longer to get to this one. This is kind of like a two week one. Uh, but uh, from now on we're definitely going to do once a week. And I'm excited to talk to you about all these products because I had a little bit longer of a time to try them. And uh, we got some really amazing products in here. I cannot wait to tell you all about this. But just so you know, in the other half, we're going to go and chop my stash and get some goodies in there. I'm excited. I have some new stuff. So let's proceed, shall we? All right, so let's start with these uh, base product. I want to show you the food, the doe food applicator for this foundation. This is so amazing. And this foundation, it is so dang good. I cannot believe how amazing this foundation is. And it's so, so uh, inexpensive. I think I paid like $5 for it. It is really long lasting. It is really nice on the skin very very nice the only problem that i have is the color the color is not necessarily the best shade for me and also they don't have some a good range of colors in um in their color scheme but it is such a freaking good foundation i cannot believe it this is really nice looking on the skin not a matte finish more of like a natural finish definitely a full coverage foundation definitely a long wearing foundation very very pretty i'm surprised about this one very very surprised about it but and the doe foot applicator is looking amazing so i really do like this one um and i just wanted to let you guys know about that one uh you already know that i like my pat mcgrath foundation i do tend to get a little bit of dry when I applied this one if I don't moisturize or I don't use a very um, heavy um, primer or moisturizer so I made sure I moisturized a lot before I applied this one so it worked really nice now for this which I was trying to finish up is the June & Co Moonshine Miracle Cream I think it's getting old because it's starting to peel off my face um, when I was trying to apply it. So I only have a little bit left in there. So I'm going to put this one in my empties. I think it's done for it. I think the life shield has been way over the time that I was supposed to have it. So this one's are going to go, uh, these two, oopsie, don't do that. These two are going to go out and this one is going to go in my empties. All right, now let's talk about powders and bronzer and highlighter. I can say love this one from Hourglass, love this one from Hourglass, love this one from Hourglass. I love these products with a passion. They're very nice, very good, very beautiful on the skin. Love this one from Too Faced as well. Now, this one from Dior, I'm absolutely obsessed with it. You know, I don't usually say this um, in my videos, but you need this. This powder, it is the most blurring powder I have ever tried in my entire life. And if you know me, if you already watch my videos, you know I've tried a lot of powders. Well, this one, let me tell you, I could not have enough of it. It is absolutely delicious looking on the skin. It doesn't look matte at all. It looks like it's your natural skin, but blurred, perfected to the T. Like, it's so good. It is so good. I am going to keep this one in for another week because OMG. This is insanely beautiful. So I'm going to keep this one in for another week. This one for Revolution Pro, I used it for under my eyes. And it is absolutely beautiful as well. As you can see, I pretty much used it all up. Like I only have a little bit left in there. Um, so I might just keep this one in as well for next week. And uh, yeah, I'll keep these two for next week as well because I do want to finish this one. And this one is too beautiful not to try it for another week. 
let's chat about the lip products that I had this week. So I had this Dior lipstick that is supposed to be uh, very long lasting. And I was surprised, I gotta say, I don't think it is as long lasting as it's been described. It is long lasting as in like, you know, um, maybe four hours, I would say, um, but not more than that. The Lisa Eldridge one is actually more long lasting than this one. And um, I do like the Lisa Eldridge one. I think I do need a little bit more moisture. It tends to be a, just a bit too drying for my liking. Um, and the same with this one. You know, I usually don't like liquid uh, lipsticks because of that. Because it gets my lips just a bit too dry for my liking. Uh, but this one is definitely more long lasting than this one this one i would say is like maybe six to seven hours this one is like four hour mark and then of course we have the one from the 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 red smile which is so pretty i love this i love this so much and this one is very long lasting this one is so pretty too and very long lasting as well i would say this one maybe is like a five to six hour and then of course i had the kylie lip liner which i really do like um, I'm going to take all of these out for this week. Now, let's talk a little bit about the eye products or like things that I use for around the eyes. This one from uh, Fenty Beauty, which is the pro filter for the eyes. I, I hate this thing. I don't know. Every time I try it, I just absolutely despise this thing. It always makes my eyes and my uh, makeup look absolutely patchy um, it breaks down you can see like lines and stuff it's just not good ever 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 so I'm gonna put this one in my empties I don't like it I don't recommend it I know there's so many people that recommend it but I don't know how what type of eyes they have but that does not work for me another thing that kind of did not work for me was this one from Ilya this is the mascara that it's supposed to be voluminizing and this is the fullest voluminizing mascara. This is not what I had in mind when um I was applying mascara as a voluminizing mascara, you know what I mean? Um it's not voluminizing enough. It's a little bit you have a little bit of a difficulty applying this one. You have to clean the brush really well. It can get clumpy. Uh you can it sometimes it transfer a little bit. So not my favorite not my favorite i would say from from a scale of one to ten this will be like a three so not not my thing i did not like it that much so then i decided to try this one from nars this is the climax one absolutely love this thing this is like um eight and a half out of ten this one very nice and beautiful voluminizing long lasting doesn't flake doesn't smudge nothing no problem whatsoever really really like it uh the uh concealer i really like as well i'm gonna take this one out um the one size uh, liner love I just love this. I've been trying it now for like two to three weeks. It is such an amazing liner and I completely recommend this one. Even at work, every time somebody's asking me for a really good liner, this is my go-to for recommendation. Absolutely beautiful on the eyes. Doesn't smudge, doesn't move. There's nothing. This is amazing, amazing, and it's only $19. I'm going to keep this one in for another week. The things from Charlotte Tilbury, you already know by now, I really do love both of them. The brow product, this one I already finished. It doesn't have anything in it, so I achieved that. This is from Tarte Stay Spray. It wasn't that amazing. It was okay, but I really wanted to finish it, so I did finish that one as well. So let me take this thing out i'm gonna take this one out as well i'm gonna keep the nurse one for another week and then the two eyeshadow palettes that i had this there are the two eyeshadow palettes that i had this week i really like both of them i love this one you already know i love it i adore it i like it created some nice looks with it the same with this one as well i recommend these two they're gonna stay in my collection for a while i'm no for sure and uh, i really do recommend them but we're gonna take both of them out i'm excited to try 
mm, some new ones and I'm going to show you in just a second what I'm talking about new ones. All right, so here are the new uh, products that we're going to try this week. I'm going to try the side-by-side -side nude palette from Nabla, the e.l.f. mascara that is called Lash It Loud, the NYX Marshmallow Primer, the Dominic Lipstick, and the ABH Dew Set. And of course, we're going to try the Luminous Silk from Giorgio Armani. These products right here that you see, I got them in the Trendwood box, the Trendwood Mystery box that was um black friday purchase this one i purchased it at work i was like i need to try this everybody talks about it how amazing it is i need to try this and i tried it once i am so annoyed with myself i haven't uh, recorded myself while i putting this on for the first time because i had the in the most insane and shocking experience when i applied this one it is gorgeous but i'm gonna make sure next time when i'm applying it i'm gonna record it so you can see it as well this uh, so i definitely want to play with this one a little bit longer so now let's get into my connection let's get into my collection not connection into my collection and grab the couple things that we need to complete um our look this week all right, so I already skipped the foundation and the powder because we're not going to need anything new from there. But I do need something for bronzer and a highlighter and a blush. I do think I want to go with this one right here from Natasha Denona, the Bronze and Glow. This one has the bronzer and the highlighter in there. So now we only need a blush. I want to go with a blush that I haven't played with in a while something maybe i can go with the milk one and then i can go with another one this one it is in work the leap and cheek one and then i want to go with a powder as well i think i might just go with this one hot mama from the balm i remember really liking this one so we're gonna go with that one as well now i do have a primer which I want to try, but I also want to get another primer from here. I'm just, I don't know, I feel like I want to get something a little bit more moisturizing. Considering that I need a little bit more moisture during this time, it is getting really cold in here. So I want, I want to go and try this again. This is the Touch and Soul one, the pretty filter, really nice and and beautiful i'm gonna get that one as well as for concealer i'm just gonna go with my born this way uh multi-use sculpting concealer and then uh, for setting spray i already have one so i don't need that let me see if i want to grab anything for the eyes if i have anything else in here oh yeah let me grab this one i haven't played with this one in a while and this is supposed to be a uh, eyeshadow base and it's a white eyeshadow base i'm gonna grab this one as well we don't need a highlighter because i already have some highlighter but i do need some lip products and um I think I'm just going to go with this one from Jara Cosmetics and this one is in sheer. I'm going to do that one and then I'm going to grab, I don't think I'm going to grab anything else from here. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me just grab this. I'm going to grab these two. Yeah. And from the eyeshadow palettes. I do have that one. I'm not sure if I want to get anything else from here. Maybe something that has some color in it. Because that one is a pretty nude eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. So I'm not quite sure. But I think I'm just going to grab this one right here from Makeup Geek. These are some... Uh, some single ones that I received and put them in here. So I'm going to go with this one. All right, so here's how these looks like. This is the one from um, Natasha Denona. That's the Hot Mama from The Balm. The Milk one from um, 
you know blush and then we have the born this way the luminous also have this uh, lipstick that is a nude cocoa from dominic cosmetic and here are some swatches the thing on the top right here is that nyx white base the first swatch it is the one from milk uh the second swatch is the blush from the balm the third and fourth is that little uh, um duo from natasha denona and then we have the concealer from Too faced which i have mine in natural beige and then right next to it it is the foundation from uh, giorgio armani which i have mine in eight and then right next to it is the lip liner in share from Jura Cosmetics. The next one is the lipstick, the nude cocoa from Dominique Cosmetics. And the last, the the other lipstick is the one glaze from Private Society. And then the last swatch right there, of course, it is the one size from um, the one size liquid liner in black really love this these are all the other things that i you already seen when i put them um in but pretty much this is what it is i'm gonna show you how this eyeshadow palette looks like as well and then how how this one looks like because i haven't opened it yet i'm gonna check it out as well and then i'm gonna show you how this one looks as well here's how the brush looks like it's not too bad i actually do like it We'll see how it's going to go. And here are the two eyeshadow palettes that I have. Very neutral looking. I am very curious to see how this is going to look like on the eyes. Cannot wait to try it. That's why I put it in this week. But yeah, pretty much this is what I got for this next week uh let me know uh down below what are you putting in your shop your stash this week and let me know if you finish your christmas uh purchases because i haven't i have not not even close not even close all right thank you so much for uh watching and i cannot wait to see you all next time see ya bye